A fire in the Bronx devastates a well-known mosque, leaving hundreds of Muslims searching for a place to pray as they celebrate the end of Ramadan. CBS2's Cindy Hsu has this report. The fire lit up the sky on East 166th Street in the South Bronx around 11 o'clock last night. It started in the basement ceiling of the Islamic Cultural Center and spread to the grocery store next door. Today, members of the mosque are heartbroken. It, it is a difficult thing to see something that we struggled to build for 11 years to be all torn down to the ground. Normally, hundreds of Muslims come to the mosque to pray five times a day. Instead, police have shut down the streets so prayers can be said outside. Muslims have been fasting during the day for a month for Ramadan. And this weekend, the community was set to celebrate a holy holiday. If there was no fire today, after the prayer of Juma, there will be a full house here today and people will be sitting around reading their Bibles and um, talking to each other about the upcoming holiday that is coming. Today the streets are filled with leaders in the community and members from other mosques who are offering their help and their facilities. Two years ago, this is the mosque where funerals were held for nine children and a woman who died in one of the city's most tragic fires. If there's a tragedy, a tragedy affects everybody. In the so we all come here equally as concerned. Some of us don't even pray here. But when it has happened to one of us, it directly affects us. So that's why we're all here. Leaders at the mosque say they'll start rebuilding the minute the city gives them the all clear. And they plan on building their new Islamic cultural center even bigger and better than the one before. In the South Bronx, Cindy Shu, CBS 2 News. Investigators say the fire is not suspicious and likely started with electrical equipment in the mosque. Three firefighters suffered minor injuries and were treated and released.